giving you those details. We will be speaking to Stephen Mutoro in a bit. Now, Nairobi Governor Ivan Skidero has assured persons living with disabilities that his administration has enacted laws that are friendly to persons with disabilities. He has assured them that the group gets more benefits if he is re-elected as governor of Nairobi. Skidero says his government has set aside 300 million in the financial year starting July for people with disabilities. The county government will next week launch the directors of disability or, or the directors of disability board. Let's speak to Patrick Amimo, our senior reporter. This particular event uh, was also attended by uh, opposition leader Rilo Dinga. Uh, Patrick, it is a vote hunting mission and this is happening on all corners. What came out of that particular uh, session? Uh, thank you, Akisa. As you rightly put it, uh, Dr. Evans Kidero met the ODM uh, uh, Disability League members and tried to uh, sell his candidate, candidature to them, uh, telling them how the Nairobi County government has put up uh, uh, friendly policies or, uh, or legislation for people with disability. And already, as indicated, is, uh, this next financial year, already 300 million shillings will be set aside to look for the, to cater for the needs of people with disabilities. He's also said his administration has put up the physical, uh, physical uh, it's called a physical uh, planning act that ensures that people with disabilities access buildings, lifts, and any other areas uh, to, to, to ensure that they are motorable and also have easy access to people with disabilities. He says that uh, he'll be pushing to ensure that uh, during the, the, the election and any other, any, any, any other time that people with disabilities want to access services, they should be given first priority. And he says even he'll be pushing to ensure that in his county, during the election uh, that is, uh, that is uh, set for August 8th, people with disabilities should be given first priority or the queue so that they don't queue but uh, are given that first priority to come and transact their businesses. And in banks also that they should be given, uh, uh, they should be accorded first priority or even in the, at the county hall where they come to pay for different services and, 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 uh, and also want to access different uh, services that, that are offered by the county government. So it's something that that, uh, it, it was it is a who um, is an, a campaign to at least uh, appeal to people with disabilities remember uh, in the uh, NAC Manif uh, in the NASA manifesto that will be launched uh, sometime late, later this week, uh, the third pillar is to do with empowering people with disability, women and youth. So it is a, it is a pillar that uh, the uh, opposition is very, very keen to take, um, to capitalize on uh, because at least it is estimated that 10 percent of the of the Kenyan population is composed of people with disabilities that if, if and given that uh, we have at least 45 million Kenyans then it means 4.5 million people out there out there Kenyans are at least what they have a disability it could either be a physical disability a psychological disability or any other form of disability so we're looking at at least 4.5 million shillings uh, I mean 4.5 million persons uh, with disabilities and again our constitution is very very clear it says that uh, five percent of appointed and elected positions should be set aside for persons with dis with disabilities though this particular provision has not been en enacted or enforced uh, but we expect now with this particular pull and push uh, people with disabilities will come out and ask to be mainstreamed into this particular uh, other decision making uh, bodies and that's what we saw earlier when I had spoken with uh, with those organizers organizers of the event who have disabilities and they, and they said they want to be mainstreamed into political and other administrative aspects of the country so as for their voice to be heard Akisa Patrick thank you for that update that's our senior reporter Patrick Am